If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Dr. Swansea offered to collect you, Dr. Reed. Hurry up! Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody...
It's locked. Grant me access to the basement. Influenza. It's locked, all right.
balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. These scouts keep from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not our blood. It's locked off. Right. It's locked. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this.
Skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. I'm so tired. Will this shift never end? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? 
I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'll let you get some rest, then. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. This hospital seems to be falling apart. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening, sir. You always Don't use words to calm the children, Helen. You at our side, Dr. Reed. I know that Pembroke will prevail oh, and survive. Is that fish needs it? Oh, please, man. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet, with all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway, to remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. 
Please, calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... But we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed.